All right, we're joined by the rookies, the group that was not here for the Final Four in 2015. Julian Alexis, Shai Ulrichson, Jack Coulihan, and Frank Oftring making their first appearance in Salem here in 2017. And guys, when you were looking at where to go to school, where to play college ball, you knew Babson had just been to a Final Four. But now that you guys are here yourselves, uh, how much does that excite you and, and how glad are you that you decided to play for Babson? Oh, this, uh, this trip has excited us a lot. Um, me personally, I'm just happy for the older group of guys, the seniors, because I saw firsthand how hard they worked to get to this point over the whole course of the year. And I'm just glad that I was able to be a part of it and the scope of hard and practice to help them get better and improve the team. So I'm just grateful for this, for this experience. Yeah, I really liked uh, being able to learn from their leadership so far and uh, just work with them this season, get good experience. Um, yeah, I think when I committed to come here, I didn't totally know like that we would be this good. And at a certain point, I kind of figured it out. But um, yeah, I'm really happy for the older guys that we uh, came through on this and were able to make the final four. Yeah, and I think we could all tell from the first day we got here, uh, there was a really strong culture established of winning, and uh, that starts at the top with all the seniors, like Jules said. And uh, yeah, it's just been a great experience, and I think we're all happy to be a part of it. And as you come down here, you're looking to finish this off in style and try to get a national championship. You guys have not been able to get out on the floor too much over these last couple of games because you, you've been playing thin against some big time teams. So how have you been able to stay part of it in the preparation and on the practice floor? And then how are you able to add to the atmosphere in game? Uh, just supporting them in whatever way we can, um, whether it be in practice or cheering for them on the bench, just giving them whatever you see on the bench or like just going hard in practice. So. Just, just helping any way we can. We know that it's not been like an opportunity to play a lot, but we just like to support in whatever way we can. Yeah, with this strong senior leadership, we really know that practice is where we try and make sure the team's ready to go so that they know what's happening from the other team and we're making sure they're best prepared. And then if the opportunity comes and we can get out of the court and we uh, do our best, and so be it, but we just want to make sure the seniors are ready to go. This is a uh, very senior, junior uh, heavy team, so that's what we have to do. Um, yeah, we've been dealing with a lot of injuries lately too, so they really need us in practice a lot. And um, a lot of times we play like a scout team type of thing where we can imitate um, some of the opponent's players and try to um, let, let our guys know their tendencies. Yeah, I think we just, we just try and push the other guys and practice as hard as we can um, and then support them in the game, pick them up if they're feeling down. Uh, and then like Shai said, we just try to stay ready uh, when the opportunity comes. And when next year does roll around, you guys are going to take on a much bigger share of what's going on with this team. What have you learned through this postseason run that is going to help you as you prepare through the summer and into next season? Um, just what it takes to win. Just the amount of time that it takes in practice or the amount of attention to detail, not only in practice, but in the rate room. Um, I learned a lot over what it takes to win since this, this group has won a lot of games. So I'm grateful and I learned a lot. Um, just like, just taking note, taking mental notes of what you have to do in games and how you have to defend other teams, how to score the ball. So hopefully I'll apply that, we'll apply that all we learn next year and uh, go from there. Yeah, I think the most important thing is just carrying out the culture that the seniors have created. They created a winning culture. The team's very close, and we're very. I think that makes us a lot better since we all have such strong relationships. And then, from there, as Jules said, just putting up, putting in all the work. And it's after practice, before practice, in the weight room, during practice. You got to pay attention to detail and make sure that we're ready to get a win. Um, yeah, the seniors have really like instilled a culture of work ethic on our team. Like, you know, uh, Charlie is like always in shoot, getting extra shots up before practice, and I've joined him a couple times. Um, so the, the, they really want to um, teach us like how to carry on this culture, and we want to uh, do that as well. Yeah, just attention to detail and understanding that uh, it starts on, in practice and not in the game. You can't just show up and play. And um, yeah, just all the preparation that goes in before the game.